What's up, what's up, what's up? This is Diva Desilox coming at you live from Las Vegas. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What's up, everyone? I hope everyone is doing well today. Today, I'm just going to come at you real quick with um, a Big Chop update, how I'm rocking my TWA. Right now is one of the styles that I'm wearing. Um, I'm just wearing one of my um, scarves that I use as a headband. Made a little bow. Um, so I do what I do is I make sure my hair is um, conditioned, moisturized, and um, that's really it. And I just add accessories to it. There's not much you can do with a TWA. But the benefits of a TWA is the wash and goes. I love it. I love the ease of being able to just co-wash my hair, add some moisturizing products, and just go. Okay? And I, you know, sometimes I might add a headband, a scarf, or sometimes I might just leave it as is. Um, no, I don't try to manipulate it with any gels or anything like that because I don't like my hair to feel hard because I already have very coarse hair and if it's dry it has a crunchy feeling to it so I don't like to add gels to it because I just hate that feeling my goal is to make sure my hair is moisturizing that has a, is soft to touch so what I do is the first thing I do is while I'm in the shower I co-wash my hair with a clarifying conditioner by VO5 this is a staple <laughs> this has been a staple in my household for years. I use it in my daughter's hair, my son, and mine. Um, the shampoo, I don't use. When I first cut my locks, I used the shampoo, but now I'm staying away from shampoos, and that will be in my next video. This is just my daily update video, what I do daily. So I co-wash with this, and the reason why I use the clarifying conditioner is because I feel like the clarifying conditioner removes some of the product buildup that I have in my hair. Once I put it in my hair and I finger comb my hair, I put on a plastic cap while I take my shower. Once I'm done with taking my shower, I rinse out the conditioner, and then after I rinse out the conditioner with warm water, I close my cuticles by using cold water after that. And then I use my peppermint treats, peppermint treat oil to lock in my moisture for my curls. Just lock it in and I put the oil in my hair while my hair is sloppy wet. Once I got the oil all through my hair and I massage it into my scalp, I dry my hair with a t-shirt. You can see it's still wet. <laughs> But with the t-shirt and I keep that on my head for the duration of me getting ready for the day once I'm done with getting ready for the day have my clothes on and everything I add some of my um, creamy delight hair and body moisturizer you see is almost done because I use it for my hair and my body so I go through this okay and that's how much is left so I just massage that into my scalp I don't comb my hair I did when I first cut my locks but for some reason I really don't feel the need to use a wide tooth comb I just finger comb my hair and get through all the knots and I think that my hair um, responds better to that when I comb through my hair sometimes I get a frizzy hard feeling but when I finger comb I don't get that feeling um I don't have the fine curls, you really can't tell because they're so tight, but I do like the tight curls. I do like for those tight, you know, what you call BB shots or whatever, but I like it and I like for them to pop more, so that's why I don't comb it. And this is how my hair looks close up, it's an afro texture look and I'm feeling it. Once I put that in there, I let my hair air dry just a little bit more. And then I add a leave-in conditioner, which is the um, Shea Moisture Conditioner. I use this as a leave-in. I feel that it works best that way for me. I tried it as a co-wash. I didn't like it as a co-wash. I tried it as um, a conditioner where you just put in and then rinse out. Now, I, it felt soft after I rinsed, my, rinsed the conditioner out of my hair with this. It really felt soft. The only thing I didn't like is that it didn't have slip. It has no slip. 
So I don't know if that's because it's basically penetrating my hair shaft, reason why I don't feel any slip, but I like to feel slip in my hair because even when I finger combing it, I know that it's going, it's just sliding through. So that's why I decided to use it as a leave-in. And it works just fine. It keeps my hair moisturized throughout the day. And yeah, so that's my daily routine. Stay tuned. I will come back with to you guys and let you know what my weekly routine is now and also my monthly routine. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.